piece of header pear. You're not locked in. <laughs> Silly. Oh, oh. Good morning. Good morning. What? Cheers. Cheers. Hello. I love Hello. you. Hello. Love you. Cheers, everybody. Howdy, do. howdy, howdy, howdy. Happy Saturday. Oh, oh you have to open it first. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Oh, my goodness. We are... <clears throat> Back we in are, our chairs. <laughs> we are thanking you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now and click the bell so that you get notifications every time we put out a video. Well, we're back in our chairs for now. For now. We were, <laughs> we were going to do this outside this morning. Yeah, I think we are really crooked. At kind of a cool location. I don't know, this way. Is that better? At kind of a cool location. <laughs> but, uh... It's really super windy out. It's crazy windy. There's a huge storm moving through the west. And... Headed our way. It's headed our way. And it just, I mean, everything is blowing. There's trees out here. You can't see them behind us. But, uh... Holy cow, it's windy. It kept me awake, me and Kaylee awake most of the night. So there's a, a little tree that's next to us and it's kind of brushing on yeah. the slide. And yeah. anyway. Oh well. Oh well. But we're back on the road. So we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> last Saturday after we chatted with you, we headed to our grandson's soccer game, the last game we would get to see of the season. Yep, yeah, before we get in the RV and get going. Yep. Um, it was fun to watch him play. Mm -hmm. Wasn't fun with the outcome of the game, but that's no. okay. We went to go see him and see Jolene and um, Alex Ford the last time before we hit the road. Scott was not feeling well, so we didn't get to see him. But we did get to see him what the week before or something at yeah, another something soccer like game. That. So, yeah. so yeah. Um, yeah. So we did get to see him. Um, so that was good, and then it was Wendy and Kevin's anniversary. Yay! Happy anniversary. They had a great day. They had a great time. Yeah, we didn't even really get to see them that day. Nope. I'd given their card the next day because nope. they were out and about running around doing stuff. And um, Oh, I thought they were upstairs in their room, you know, uh, celebrating. Quiet. That's sorry, not sorry. public information. Sorry. Kevin was telling me that he was even taking that little blue pill. Oh, stop it. Well, he did. He said he... he he actually OD'd on that pill, and it was the hardest day of his life. Tom, <laughs> oh come on. I don't think Kevin wanted you to share that. Oh, my gosh. Come on, now. That was funny. <laughs> then Saturday evening was my class reunion, my high school class reunion. Yeah. It was kind of a um, stop. No, no, no. So it was kind of a it, different classes because our reunion should have been last year for 40 <laughs> years, but because of COVID and everything, and then the class before us didn't get to have their reunion because that was 2020. Do you want the real story? And then, so we invited other classes to come, and so that was a lot of fun, and we even got thanked for inviting other classes too that didn't get to have their reunion. But it was fun. We had a really good turnout. I was surprised. Everybody had name tags on and the name tags had the year they graduated, like 81, 82. Right. What was the so this what was, was the drunk girl? She was 88. <laughs> oh, that's too bright. Can you see mine or not? There we go. <clears throat> that was Tom's <laughs> and mine. Those were our name tags. So Tom was my arm candy. Yeah, arm candy. <laughs> I had a ton of people coming up to me. They'd look at it and they went, Lori? And I went, yeah. Wow. She hasn't changed a bit. Oh, yes, I And I just kind of stood there because I'm like, okay. I've seen pictures, but I didn't know her back then. And, you know, they came up to me and they're like, wow. Whatever. He's wow. such a giver. He's such Little a Little Miss Popular. No, I was Holy not. Holy cow. I was not. People were like, God, she was a great cheerleader. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> Little Miss Popular. No. No, no, no. Voted Miss Popular. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't believe a word he's saying. Voted he's... most likely to be popular throughout her life. And now she's a YouTube star. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. He's, now you know he's lying. So It anyway, was a great time. We had a blast. And you know, for somebody that's much older than everybody else in the room, I had a good time. Just watching people drool over her more oh, than anything. Gosh, you're such a fibber. <laughs> it's so But true. I thought it was nice that some of my classmates came up and talked to you and chatted with you for a little bit. Yeah. So Tom yeah. helped out a lot um, in the beginning because uh, my girlfriend Debbie and I were the ones that kind of pulled everything together and Debbie did most of it but we did decorations and we did these big uh, picture boards with everybody's senior picture and freshman picture put together and then another board so they're doing all this and they're getting everything done and then all of a sudden people start showing up and it's like just deathly quiet because nobody thought about music and I looked at her and I said you should have had me put together a list of music for everybody from 81 or 82 and stuff like that and I said well I can do that on my phone maybe I can Bluetooth it to one of these speakers in here so we got help from the restaurant they let me Bluetooth it so I got a playlist from 1981 started playing it and <clears throat> 25 30 minutes into it this girl no name tag but you found out she's from the class of 88, 88. way down. I mean, yeah. 88, for God's sakes. Hello. Her, her husband is a little bit older, and he was four years after I graduated. And uh, She so, was drunk. Oh, yeah. She wasn't just happy. She was drunk. And she comes up, and she starts talking to, De to Debbie and, and Lori, and, you know, like, what about the music, blah, 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 blah. And they both look at me, and they went, he's the DJ. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> So she comes over to me and then nestles up to me, and I mean nestles <laughs> up to me. Hi, think you can play this? Think you can play this? She wanted to dance so bad. Oh my god! Oh, it was it was fun. I kept backing up. She kept pushing me to where I couldn't back up anymore. I was pushed into a corner and I'm like, <laughs> You wanna come over here and help me? <laughs> no, you got it. It was it was pretty funny. And then the um, her husband, he sees my name tag and he says Borges, and he says, he says your brother Bruce Borges. I said yeah. He says I went to school with him. He says we had wood shop together. So I took a picture of him and sent it to my brother, and he says yeah I know that guy. Why is he at your reunion? <laughs> It's because we invited other classes to come, and they that couple came with another couple that was a little bit older, closer to our yeah. class reunion, but. It was a fun time. It was. We really had a good time. Now we all want to get together like at least once a year to go even just like have pizza or something. Not to do it at this extent. You don't have to go if you don't want to. I didn't say I wasn't going. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. I just don't want Little Miss 1998 around me. We won't ask her to go. Oh, 1988. Oh, 1988. God, 98. I would have been worried then. I was worried. <laughs> But it was, it was a lot of fun. So it was great seeing our classmates. There's a lot of people that still live in town. We had a couple people come in from out of town, yep. so that was awesome. Yep. One of the guys from Nashville, he came in, yep. and another guy from that lives in St. Louis yep. part-time came in. So that, w that was fun. I think everybody else is yep. from the area. But um, It was a good time. It was fun. It was fun. And then Sunday, we just kind of had our final pack-up to hit the road. Yep. So we finished getting the, everything. everything outside, put away, everything inside, mm -hmm. put away, and uh, then we headed off to Urington <clears throat> to the drive-in on Monday morning. Woohoo! So we got there just fine, got our spot. Nobody else was there the whole time. Yep, we were all alone at the Sagecrest Drive-In, which is now open BLM land, and it is pretty cool. I know... We talk about it all the time, and... Yeah, twice a year, at least. <laughs> at, at, at least twice a year, we're there. But it is a cool place to just plop down for several days, yeah. you know? Especially if you've got a little maintenance you want to do to the RV, or just visit Yarrington. You know, we decided we wanted to go out for dinner and go yeah. to the Chinese restaurant. But that was on a Monday. Everything's closed on Monday. Nothing <laughs> was open. <laughs> so we was like, oh, forget it. We'll just have supper at home, and... So we just uh, we just went home and ate yep. dinner. Um, 
on a Tuesday, I worked, but then we went out to yeah. lunch. Yeah. Um, a place that's there that we've, and we've been going in and out of Yarrington, passing through for what, seven years, well, eight years? by six years. Six years, six years something years. like that. Yeah, and so. the thing about it is we've never stopped at this place called Sherry's Stage Stop. Stage Stop. Yeah, it's a little restaurant. Little hole in the wall restaurant. Look kind of cool from the outside. And I said, let's just go for lunch. And it is so cool, decorated yeah. on the inside. The food, enormous portions of food. But it wasn't out of control. No, and it wasn't super expensive. No. It wasn't um, expensive at all. I had a, a ham and cheese, grilled <laughs> ham and cheese on sourdough. And it was like cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham. <laughs> But it wasn't an overwhelming sandwich like this. It was, you know, nice and thick. They gave her, like, perfect. huge stacks because she's so popular. <clears throat> Better stop it. Better stop it. I'm going to use my Halloween voice. Don't. Okay. So, anyway, it was really great food. It was good food. And, okay, I'm not a French fry person. I really don't care for French fries. Usually they're way too soggy. So, every time I order them, I ask for extra crispy. Nobody ever pays attention. But these people did. Oh, they were good. These were like... I actually liked them. <clears throat> like railroad spikes. You know, no, you they can... weren't. <laughs> they were really crispy. They were crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. That's the perfect. They dipped them a couple times. <laughs> yeah. That's the way you make french fries. Not just... Yeah. Psh, psh, psh. But we were surprised, you yeah. know. And we've, we've driven by it and driven by it and driven by it and went, okay, let's just go. And the, the decoration inside is like you're going back to the 1800s. Yeah. It was it was neat. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. People were nice. So if you uh, happen to be going through Yarrington, yep. it's a great place to stop if you want to get some great food. It was really clean, too. I was surprised yeah. with all the decor that they have yeah. there. There are no cobwebs anywhere. Yeah. Where I was watching the waitress. Yeah. She wiped down everything. The table. Everything on the table. The chairs. Everything was wiped down. You know how you go in some restaurants and you look up and there's cobwebs hanging from stuff? Yeah, like right <laughs> over your food. <laughs> Especially in places like that. Small, and yeah. you've got a, a lot of um, yep. themed decorations and yeah. stuff. I mean... They put them up and forget about it. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. No. So, But it was really good. We Five stars from us. Yeah. That we posted on yeah. Google yeah, reviews, really pictures, and our good reviews and stuff. So we will definitely be going back there yeah. again. Yeah. We've kind of gotten sick of the taco truck and the Broster's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've moved on. Yeah, we've moved on. Um, <clears throat> so then Wednesday, I worked again. Yep. And you ran to go get fill, uh, fuel, fuel for the truck. And, I checked um, on a couple of the dump stations in Yarrington. One of them at the rest area that is just south of the alternate 95 and 95 alternate 95 intersection. And I, I can't remember the other highway it changes to. But it's a rest area. It's like a quarter of a mile down the road. Free dump station. There was another one, and we've used it before. It was over near the ball fields. Yeah, it's long um, gone. It's completely gone. Is it gone? You yeah, went by? I've read about it. Oh, okay, it's, it's so it's gone. gone. Yeah. Wait, the last time we were in Yearington, we saw uh, some stuff going on around there, construction yeah. or whatever. So they probably just closed it down. Yeah. Um, but there is a free dump right there at the rest area. Yep. <clears throat> so we had taken care of that before we left yeah. um, Reno. Yep. And uh, so... That, uh, let's see here. Where Thursday was a travel day. Thursday was a travel day. And we didn't leave real early. Um, well, we kind of had to change our plans. You know how we say we write our plans in the sand? Yeah, it's a good thing. So, we get to Yarrington and we're already adjusting. <laughs> yeah, our first stop, it's for our second stop, we're already making adjustments. So, there will be a video coming out in a few weeks about why... We changed our plans, but we came to an RV park yeah. due to weather. Um, but it's, so it's good to have a plan B, sometimes a plan C. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see, you know, where we're staying and yeah. where we had planned to stay yep. and why that didn't work out. So, um, and that's kind of what we did yesterday was we yeah. went for a little drive and. Uh, yeah. You'll see that in a future video yeah. coming up on a Wednesday. Yeah. 
Then we had lunch at a little local place called Peppers, mm -hmm. and it was good. You had a, yeah. a nice burger, right? Yeah. And yeah. I had uh, taquitos, which it's, were it was perfect for me. It's like an I old uh, uh, train boxcar yeah. that they've got sitting there. So there's no indoor seating. Yeah. You just walk up to the window, order, and you go back and either sit on the picnic tables or you wait in your vehicle. Yeah, we sat in the truck with the <clears throat> dog. We had Bear with us because yeah. we went to go run a couple errands. So, so it's just, a, it's, again, fairly inexpensive compared to prices today. Yeah. And local. Great amounts of food. I mean, it was a, it was a big old burger. Yeah. Did you have yeah. fries with yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah, it's because I just got five taquitos with fries. cheese on it. And, and I had a chocolate milkshake. Oh, and yes, it, you did. It was huge. Yep. And it wasn't so thick that you couldn't <laughs> suck it through the couldn't straw. drink it. No, it was good. Yep. So we've just um, had a leisure week, basically. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, considering we traveled two days, but short, nice short travel days. It's what we like. Yep. And... Um, Thank you, Dave, for our Thank you, Dave, endeavor. for that suggestion because, <laughs> yeah, it's like, why didn't we ever think of that before? It was just we got to get from point A to way down there to point B without... Of course, I think solar helped that. Solar too. helped it, but, you know, seriously, Dave's thinking has really rubbed off on us, and it's it's just a great way to travel. Yep, short days. Yeah. yeah I, I love that we get somewhere, or we don't leave, we don't super, leave early, super early, but we get to somewhere early enough to where we have the whole afternoon, evening yeah. to just relax, walk around, mm -hmm. and I, I'm really liking that mode of thing. We are not Bob and Pearl where Bob makes Pearl drive 600 miles in a day. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we love you guys. Pearl, you're a stud. So. Bob, you're not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Bob and Pearl from Next Exit. No, we love them we very do. much. So, um, but uh, we'll be here for a few more nights. And yeah, then... we extended an extra night just because it's supposed to be 15 to 20 degrees at night. And we want to be able to have power to plug in to run an extra space heater and just, you know... Don't get into about the space eaters. We don't care what you think. <laughs> we do it our way. Don't, what, don't do what we do, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. But uh, we're staying an extra night just because it's supposed to be super duper cold. And then uh, the day after that, we'll be traveling and heading south once again. Yep. So. Heading south to the next stop. The next stop. The next stop. Um. Gosh, anything else? I, I don't know. I, I think actually that's think that's it. it. I yeah. really do. Yep, I'll probably. That just gets you up to date with us. This is this is our Saturday coffee chat. It's a pretty close to real time update. We're on Wednesdays, the What Up Wednesday videos. You get some some travel and some fun things that we do here and there, and they run a little bit behind from where we are. But that's okay. You know, that's okay. We have fun. We hope you have fun watching. Take your banner and raise it.